At the time, nobody knew how our life would change. It definitely has changed my life for sure. My name is Oyun Erden Singh. I'm from Mongolia. I'm almost 26 years old. So I'm a contortionist at Totem. Your life becomes on tour, and this becomes your normal life. You live in a suitcase, but you get used to it. You don't own anything, you know? You don't even own a plate or you don't own a fork, you know, like the simple things that most people have, we don't have. I have three suitcases. All season clothes. <laughs> so it's pretty good, no, for a girl? <laughs> Life moves kind of fast because you're doing a lot of shows and you're moving constantly. Yeah. Of course, if you could have a job at home and get the same opportunity, then would do it. That's probably like the downside, missing all the birthdays and the holidays. And so just time away from your family. Baby? Hi, baby. Hey. Hey, how are you? Good and you? Good. I just arrived on site. How was your yeah. day? It's good, it's good. I went to train and now doing some emails. I have my boyfriend, uh, he's on another show. So on my time off between cities, I go visit him and then he takes his vacation according to, if it's a long city, he comes in the middle to like break it down. So I think we try to see each other every six weeks. It's, it's not too bad for, I think, a long-distance relationship. Um, so I, I just put together a few photos to show you guys. Um, this, so this is my first program photo, and this is when I started on Alegria when I was 11 years old. So I haven't really changed much, right? Like, I look the same. <laughs> so that's when we were training for Alegria. Yeah, so we, I think we were 10, both of us, 10 years old. I think I was 14 there um, and it was a very classic and slow style so everything super controlled it was a really great experience you know and makes you feel worth all the training and the time you put in ah, family photo <laughs> so that's my aunt and that's my uh, cousin yeah my aunt is actually the person who took me to a contortion school Contortion is part of our traditional art in Mongolia, and we have a lot of contortionists and contortion schools. My mom, she passed away when I was six years old. Apparently my mom, a couple of days before she passed away, she told my aunt, I really want her to be a contortionist. And you know, this coach, so a very famous contortionist, so she was on TV, on newspapers all the time. So I think my mom saw that and thought it was really cool that she get to travel and, you know, represent this traditional art. I started living with my aunt and uncle. After a month, she remembered that conversation and she was like, oh, maybe it's her like last wish or something. She's like, I need to do something because she really talked about it like kind of passionately, you know. I was naturally very strong, so I was learning quite fast. I did the test and I passed. So I was really lucky to, you know, to have that opportunity. You know, otherwise I would not be here and I would not be a contortionist. I have a small fun fact about <laughs> when I do my makeup is that I do my right side with my right hand and my left with left. When I was young, I don't know why, like when I started doing makeup on Alegria when I was 11 years old, I just, I guess, did this side with the right and the other side with the left. So now I, that's how I do my makeup. <laughs> so I'm in a bit of a rush. I can do it in, I think, 30 minutes. Yeah, and you know, we get to do it every day, so you you learn, you know, which way is faster. And first the makeup designer, she designs the makeup. And then after that, they give you like a lesson. And then also you have step-by-step. Step. Once or twice a year, the makeup artists, they come 
and they check your makeup and they give you notes and uh, everything so it's pretty useful yeah so this black is very like it's liquid black so you have to be careful it can get <laughs> everywhere and it's also very hard to take off my costume is so colorful and it's so bright if the makeup is not as bright you lose my face and you cannot um, see my face on stage anymore Having a challenging act is, I think, the best because it it's never gets boring because every day you have the challenge to do it the best you can. The audience, they come only once, so it's their first time. So every time before I go on stage, I'm like, I want to do my best. 